Now, does this work? Why the f did you pick up a data cube, you bitch? I mean, like, how retarded is that? Last time we found a glory hole, but to make some use of it, we need to get cash. To get cash, we need to work. Sadly, we are understaffed, so we're gonna need to sort it out in understaffed sorting. This scene indeed looks quite familiar. A long time ago, we've already had this assignment of sorting data cubes in a line, but then we had one worker for every data cube. Now we are low on workers, because everyone is enjoying their own glory hole. We should have been more careful with our human labor over the years. Smallest data cube on the left, largest on the right. It should be simple. The major problem is why do we have pairs of people? All right, that sounds kind of bubble sorty. Now, what was the approach I took last time? Every person would look at their own cube and look to the right and see if they were larger. All right, they would pick up the cubes in the line and just switch places with the person next to them. All right, I, I think we're gonna have to bubble through this. I would simply tell everyone to take a step down first. And they're gonna operate on these places. Then we need to keep them in pairs and we need to separate them into left person and the right person. So if to the right of you there is a person, meaning you're on the left side, what you're gonna do is take a look at your data cube and if it's larger than the one on the right, you're gonna pick it up. Then you're gonna take a step to the right and drop it down. Now in the else branch of the first if statement, we're gonna have the right person. They're also gonna ask if they're standing on a data cube which is lower than the one on the left side, they're also gonna pick it up, then they're gonna step left, so switch places with the person next to them and drop the cube. This should work once, but then we need them to shuffle from left to right. So how do we do that? So we need to start here or here and work our way to the other side. I'm just gonna try and go with memory one set to zero and that's gonna be the direction we're gonna be traveling. Now I would like to set this to a random number at the start, but the two people in the pair have to have the same number. Okay, so screw that. Everyone is gonna start walking left and then right again and so on. So let's say zero means go left first. So then we're gonna say if in memory one there is a zero, you're then after possibly switching gonna step left, all right? Otherwise you step right. Then you might be next to a wall. So you still want to do these things, but then after you've done them, you need to check for a wall. So we're gonna do it here. If to the left of you there is a wall, oh shit. Well, only one person is gonna see that, right? Oh, it doesn't matter, because they're gonna switch. Okay, cool. So if to the left of you there is a wall, you're gonna set memory one to one. Otherwise, set memory one to a zero. Now, that means we don't need the initialization here, because we're gonna have it here later. Now, the problem is gonna be once the pair of people meet, but we're gonna figure that out later. For now, let's just loop through this and hope it works. So 30, 56, that's the right order. These two have switched. Switching is happening. These are on the left side and they seem to be stuck. Now, why are you stuck, you idiot? Okay, so that's skip that. You're next to a wall. So you've got a one. I am an idiot. Uh, next to a wall, not standing on a wall. Let's try again. So these two should switch. Great. Uh, don't switch. Switch again. All right, switching. And now you have switched again and again and again. What's going on? Okay, pause. What the hell are you doing? This is wrong. So basically, once they reach a wall, they set memory one to one, meaning we should walk right now. Then they take one step to the right, they notice 
they are not next to a wall anymore, they reset to zero and start walking left again. What a nugget. Let's fix that. If to the left of you there is a wall, you set to one, that's for sure. And I want to say you only set to one if you had a zero before. But that would be even worse. I, I, I don't want to put another if statement there. But I'm too dumb not to do that. So sorry about this. If there is a wall to the left of you or to the right of you, then you do this. Extra statement, really sorry, too dumb to figure out a better way of doing this. So basically this says you are on either one of these two sides. And if it's the left side, set one. If it's the right side, set zero. Now, fourth times the charm. Switch, step, that's all right, go. Now you should switch again. Great. And uh, now, yeah, this lady is walking right. What about you? Also walking right. You're next to each other. Okay, that's working. And now there's a mess, a messy situation. And they keep bubbling through. These two ladies have drifted apart. But hopefully that's not gonna matter too much, is it? Okay, this idiot didn't pick up his data queue. Now she's back and yeah, yeah, okay. This is completely fucked up, shit. Well, let me speed this up. Maybe it, you know, fixes itself. And no, I don't think so. All right, all right. So basically this check we have here doesn't work. I might do a little dumb fix. If you are not standing on a data queue after trying to drop it, drop it again. So that's what was happening a lot. They would pick up a data cube, try to shuffle somewhere, drop it down, and then there were empty spaces. So this is a bug fix of sorts. Not the way you should bug fix in real life. You know, the code is not working and instead of fixing it, I just put like a bandage on it. Okay, this looks pretty shit. This guy is really stuck. He's... I said pause for fuck's sake. Okay, he's trying to step left. This lady is also trying to step left. And this idiot is trying to... what? Step right. Well, it's, it's working then. What's your problem? Yeah, these are just... Okay, that's, that's it. That's deadlocked. Completely fucked up. Should I do something with the tell and listen commands? Like one person being the leader and telling the other person what to do. What if I loop this part as well? If there is a worker to the left or to the right of you, you do this. Then hopefully you should be in sync. And it's possible there are four people next to each other. These two switch and these two should hopefully, I don't know, wait or something. So what if we try to put a jump here? What did I do? I wanted to do this. Jump here and then you can bubble with the other people as well. Okay, sure. Does not work. This is way too many commands now. We'll see. It might work after all. Okay, so far so good. And yep, yeah, they've stolen the data cubes again. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We are fucked. All right, not the way. Wait, oh no, that might have been right. I'm an idiot. I had a long weekend. Okay, let's put it that way. I haven't coded in a, quite a while, but what I've done here is person to the right. All right, let's switch with them. Otherwise, switch with left side. But nowhere did I say that there's actually a person to the left. This is a mistake I think a lot of beginners do, because I used to do it too. Is there a person on the right side? Well, no, but what's the opposite of that? Well, most people would probably say that there's a person on the left side. So I expected there to be a person on the left side. But that's not the opposite of that. The negation of this is simply there isn't a person on the right side. So now we should be sure that there's one on the left side as well. Let's try again. Please don't steal data cubes. And they've stolen the data cubes. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. I might know how to skip that. I'm not gonna fix this part. I'm just gonna skip the moment when there are more people next to you. So here, let's say if there's a worker to the left and to the right as well, so you're squeezed between a few people, you just repeat this step. Keep walking away from them. Bastards. Now, does this work? Why the f did you pick up a data cube, you bitch? I mean, 
Like, how retarded is that? Okay, let's slow this down and watch this little shit. So no switching. Now you step. And there isn't a worker. All right, because this lady hasn't stepped yet. So now you simply check and you want to switch with that guy who doesn't give a shit because he was already there. All right. We really need some sort of synchronization. But who's gonna be the leader? Can we have one single leader and step when the leader commands? How do we elect a leader? I would say someone with the lowest number, but we don't know what the numbers are. What if we just tell them to step left until there is a wall so if to the left of you there isn't a wall you keep going and at some point we're gonna have a leader it's the person who's gonna reach the wall first that's shit approach might be the right one though okay let's have a leader in each of the pairs the left person is the leader memory one is set to one okay sorry memory four is set to one that's the leader memory no i I just don't think this is gonna work because they can still, you know, split up. What if they walk above the numbers and only go down to switch them? Then we might still have a problem. We could do that two people walk below the numbers, two people walk above and the remaining two just fuck off. Okay, let's have two people and just get rid of the rest. I just realized that the listen tell thing wouldn't probably work because they keep switching places when sorting. Holy shit, I've done it. Didn't think this assignment was possible. Well, I kind of agree. It's not possible and I think I'm gonna fail the tests here. Yeah, 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 failing almost every one of those tests. So what I've done is like screw bubble sort, sorta. Let's do it like a swarm of ants. So everyone is gonna be sorting on their own. So if they find a data cube, which is larger than the one on the right, they pick it up, put it down below the line, drop it, pick up the other cube, then step here to the original spot, drop it, pick up the one below, go there and drop it. So let's take a look at let's see these two cubes they are in the wrong order so this lady should see that and she's gonna pick up all right and now it's not gonna work i believe yeah 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 all right that's where it fails so i can't really show you what i wanted to do let me see oh here here so this lady had 73 and 63 so she wants to switch those two cubes so she goes down places the cube picks up the other one, puts it there, picks up the original one and puts it there. So basically swap those two cubes, right? That's it. However, sometimes there are two people next to each other and they want to swap the cubes and one person basically steals the cube from underneath the other person. So that's why I tried adding these additional checks that there can't be any worker around you anywhere this it, you can you can see i was desperate right this is really shit anyone should be able to tell and now it basically almost doesn't work because they formed this conga line of sorts and now there is always a person next to them so the other thing i could also do is eliminate one person from each of those three pairs so just like that one in each of those pairs should die don't step down you idiots okay and now these people should be working like ants with a lower possibility of influencing each other so this is gonna be really really slow but hopefully it's now gonna work 100 percent of the time okay now we've got the conga line again and this is gonna take a long time all right all right all right this is this is shit okay i've done some minor optimizations and hopefully we should be close to finishing this. I think 97 might be the only thing. Yeah. Hopefully it's gonna work 100% of the time. Let's see. Not at all. But it seems we failed on time. Is it possible? Oh no. They somehow messed it up. Okay, I've tried employing all six people. 
And now we've only got one fail. Let's see if the reason it failed is the same as every time when someone is in someone else's way. Yep, yep. She wanted to put it down and she couldn't. Shit. Okay, finally, I've got a working solution. It's way too slow because I again had to get rid of three of those six people. The code is shit. It's way too long, way too dumb, but at least it finally works. I've been at this for way too long and I just can't think straight. I really fear we are getting to the hard part of the game where I can't really figure out how to do this properly. If there is some way to keep these people from splitting apart and let them work as a single unit, then this would be really easy. But to keep them together and not interfere with the other people, that is the main issue. Any advice is welcome. Really, don't spare me.